So it's final time here in the Olympic Stadium in Wroclaw. It's the Betard FIM Speedway GP of Poland. And uh, we are coming to the final four laps to uh, finish off the evening. We do hope it's in grand style. We have no reason to think it won't be. We've uh, witnessed some uh, terrific racing out there tonight. So once again, we will show you the lineup for the grand final here tonight. Boys just um, uh, digging around, making sure they choose the best possible place. So the lineup for the final then. On the inside is Dan Bewley in red. Gate number two in blue is Matt Sajanowski. Gate number three in white is Leon Madsen. And Robert Lambert will go from the outside in yellow. Brilliant night of Speedway, Chris. Tough to call this one. Yeah, impossible to call. It's been far too competitive to know who's going to win this one. Big night for Janoski. He's been so low on confidence in uh, particularly the last three rounds. So uh, a win here in Wroclaw, his home track. You can see there he's Polish uh, national manager, Rafał de Rucki, looking on. But uh, yeah, this could be a big, big race for Janoski to turn his season around. Indeed it could be. Gate number two has proved to be a favoured place in latter races. There's no doubt that the gate stats showed you that uh, six wins from there, and they've all come late on. And Janowski has been really sharp on the starts uh, in the recent races. So uh, keep your eyes on him. But uh, Leon Madsen has been stunningly fast as well. Of course, he topped the qualifiers with 12 points. Robert Lambert also, he'll be desperate to get on the roster and missed out in Tetra when he made his first final. So riders now moving forward for the final race of the night. Who's going to win here in the Olympic Stadium? Tough one to call. Could be Bewley on the inside. Could he make it back to back? Grand Prix victories. The green light's on. We're away. And they roll to the first corner and Bewley's got there. Lambert's been pushed wide by Janowski. Leon Manson, but Bewley out of the first corner. Here we go now. Into second place is Metzler Janowski, but Bewley after the inside gate had to make it and he was up to the task. He's stolen a march on the opposition. Leon Madsen now through into second place. Janowski trying to repay the compliment, but Dan Bewley out in front, Chris. Looking to set fair for a second consecutive Grand Prix win. Yeah, first rider to do it this year and he's looked fast in his last heat. He's looked fast in his semi-final and once again in the final when it really counts, he looks quick, but they're not going to let him go, Madsen stretching his arms out, looking for every little bit of traction he can find. Here we go then, they're into the last lap in the final of the Olympic Stadium in Brodslav. Dan Bewley looking set fair for a second win of the year in the Grand Prix. Two finals, looking like it's going to be two wins. Here we go through the last corner, Dan Bewley in front of his home crowd wins again. What a night for Dan Bewley. Lil Madsen back in second place. And what can you say about Dan Bewley, a man on the crest of a wave? Fabulous performance once again from Dan Bewley. Dan Bewley riding high there, just uh, congratulating fellow Brit Robert Lambert, who I think may have just uh, grabbed himself a rostrum spot. We'll have to have a look at that again, but no mistaking the winner. Dan Bewley, two on the trot, wins in Cardiff, his home round, and again here on his home track in the Polish League, Rutzlaff. Fantastic stuff from him. This is what dreams are made of for Dan Bewley, no question about that. Absolutely sensational form from the young British rider. Look, didn't really look like he was going to make the semi-finals. He was the last qualifier. And he comes out trumps with 20 big, big world championship points. Calvin, we said it. We need someone to find consistency at the very, very top. And it looks like it might be coming from Dan Bewley. Leon Madsen, 18 points for him, does very nicely indeed. He closes in on Bartosz Marslik when he would have been desperate for a win. But this start on the inside, absolutely out of the top draw. Out of the top draw. Dan took his time to come to the start line. He went off away to get his composure. He was the last one to get to the start line, but he wasn't the last one away from it. Fantastic start. Robert Lambert at this point looks like he's going to have a run right around the outside. Runs out of room there. Leon Madsen makes sure he doesn't do that. But uh, no, Dan Bewley, no mistake from the start whatsoever. It was an even break. Everybody reacting well. Madsen lifting. But Dan Bewley just makes a little bit of room for himself in the first turn. Once he hits the front, just gathers momentum. Madsen kept chasing and chasing, working as hard as he could. But uh, fully deserved. Dan Bewley, what a ride from him.
Dan Bewley, the man of the moment, the talk of the town, wins in front of his home club here. The fans delighted with that. They would have loved, of course, Matsey Janowski to win, but it wasn't to be tonight. Awfully tight for third place. May just have been Robert Lambert actually Lambert just sealing the, the deal there. That's massive disappointment for Matsey Janowski if he hasn't made the roster. Yeah, Lambert's got it's there. It's Lambert, his first podium, bro. Yeah, terrific effort from Robert Lambert. We missed that. We were focusing on Bewley out in front. But damn Bewley, they are going to be writing the headlines tonight. And all of a sudden, the spotlight of the world is on this young man. Consecutive Grand Prix wins. Delight in the camp, and absolutely rightly so. Qualified for the semi-finals on eight points. The last qualifier. But it comes away as a winner here this evening. Bewley wins the Grand Prix here in blocks left tonight. Leon Madsen back in second place. Robert Lambert. Brilliant effort from him to come through in third place. And Matt Janowski finishes in fourth. But what can we say about Dan Bewley? All the superlatives in the world. But right now, he's the best rider out there. Now, what can we say? as a young man on the crest of a wave who shows such composure under pressure lost his way in the middle of this meeting and then got it together to win his last uh, heat and then uh, win the semi-final and when it counted the final shoe the same sort of composure to win the British Grand Prix in Cardiff such a big thing for the Brits and once again doing it here tonight great stuff from the young man yeah absolutely sensational performance once again from Jan Bewley and many congratulations to him, but a great effort from Robert Lambert as well. I'm chuffed to bits for him coming through in third place. A great effort to get the better of a who's going to be very disappointed, Matzo Janowski, not to be on the rostrum here in front of his home crowd. Um, but nonetheless, that's tough speedway. There you see the points, 20 points for Bewley. Leon Madsen on 18. Robert Lambert picking up 16, very handy points. Matzo Janowski also will be grateful for 14, but he would still be right now a touch disappointed. Smarslik probably getting out of jail there a little bit on 12 with uh, Leon Madsen not winning. So he'll still have a healthy lead, but um, uh, nonetheless, it, uh, it's uh, less than it was. We'll be able to see exactly how that pans out after seven rounds. Here we see 108 points for Bartosz Schmarslik, 92 for Leon Madsen, so it has got tighter. Dan Bewley now into third place on 84. Dan Bewley all of a sudden looking like a strong contender for a medal and a bronze at the very least. Dudek slipping to fourth place, 74 points for Janowski. Good night's work for him and Freddie Ling Lindgren on 70. So let's now get down to the centre green and join Scott Nichols because he's got the winner of the night, Dan Bewley with him. Yeah, man, the moment you're round seven winner here in right side, Dan Bewley. Dan, your first Grand Prix here, you get your first win in Cardiff, the first two-time winner in 2022, and you scrape into the semi-finals by the skin of your teeth. Pretty good night, really. Yeah, I wouldn't have said that after Heat 19, but um, yeah, we worked hard in the pits tonight and uh, we swapped bikes towards the end and uh, just turned the night around. Uh, you know, to get the win here was pretty special. You know, in Cardiff, I, you know, I felt good all day and uh, felt good on the track, but uh, here I think it's the kind of track where everybody is good and uh, you know, this kind of, you know, I wouldn't say it means more, but uh, you know, I feel like everyone was at the best at this track, so it's pretty cool. Well, this is the World Championship, everybody's their best. So, was there a little bit of panic setting in early on when you kind of started off good, but then you had that little dip midway through? Yeah, you know, not really. I just kind of knew if I had to win the last race to try and make the semis. And even then, it was going to be tight. But, um, you know, that was the plan, and uh, it all came good in the end. Well, you've won on home, so now it's your home track. Is there, you got a special mention to the Polish fans, your home, the Spart Wrocław fans? Yeah, I, I wish I could say more, but uh, just dziękuję bardzo. Uh, Dobry <laughs> that's about all I've got, but you know, thank you for supporting me tonight. Uh, it's been awesome here, I've loved every minute of it. Well, your Polish wasn't as good, but your race with top notch. Well done, enjoy your celebrations. Thank you.